What's going on YouTube, Champa Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Earthrise Voyager class, Starscream. Taking a look at the packaging, it is done very nicely. Starting at the front, we've got Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy. We've got Starscream written right here. We got 8 Plus Hasbro Transformers Generations Takara Tomy. Coming around to the side, we got a very nice box art image of a Starscream there on the side. It says he's a Voyager class figure. And then got some characters floating through space, but very nice picture of Starscream there on the side. Coming around to the other side of the box, we've got some more amazing artwork. We've got Unicron floating through space. We've got Megatron. We've got Optimus Prime. There's the Nemesis shooting down the Ark and the Ark crash landing to Earth. We've got Transformers Authentic, and then it just has the Transformers Earthrise logo here on the side. Coming around to the bottom, it's just warnings and stuff. Coming around to the top of the box, we've got Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. We've got Decepticon emblem here on the top. And then we've got a picture of Galvatron floating through space. Very cool. Coming around to the back of the box, we've got a picture of Starscream in his robot mode, in his vehicle mode, and it says that it takes some 30 steps to convert. And then it just shows some Battle Masters are also um, sold separately. And then it says uh, his name is Starscream, and then we got Transformers more than meets the eye there on the top. And that is everything for the box. Taking a look at Starscream's accessories, he comes with his classic null rays. We'll set one down. These are very nicely molded and detailed. There are no paint applications on the null rays, but they are very nicely molded. So, very nice. He does come with this uh, decoder piece that does work with the background insert that's on the inside of the packaging. He does come with his instruction manual which if you have seen my Earthrise Wheeljack review you will know that I am a huge fan of how they did the coloring for these instructions. It is so easy to follow. The coloring is so much better. The light gray with the green um, it, it just works so much better than what we've been getting for the Studio Series line. And then he does come with a little warning sheet, just choking hazard, small parts. So, that's all that the figure comes with. And here we have Earthrise Starscream in his jet mode. And the jet mode looks fantastic. Doing a 360 overview of the figure. As you can see, they did a great job with this jet mode. The amount of molded in detail looks great. This is just overall a very, very good recreation of that classic 1980s Starscream. Taking a look at the detail starting from front to back, as you can see, we've got some very nice molded in detail. We've got some orange translucent plastic with some white paint for the cockpit there. And then on the inside of the cockpit itself, we got a seat molded in, some other details. Got some nice, we got some nice red paint right here, and then we just got all these panel linings um, molded onto the jet. Looks very nice. Got some nice red and white striping there on the wing, and then we got Decepticon emblem right there on both wings. Then we've got some nice red and white striping right there. Coming around to the back, the thrusters are molded in, which I do really like. That's a nice attention to detail. Very nice jet mode. Got It's got a good amount of paint applications, and it's very nicely molded and detailed. The figure does have a few 5mm peg holes, one here on top. There are four right here, 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 and here. And there are two on the sides right here and here, right here and here. So... It's up to you where you want to store the null rays. You can leave them off if you like to have just a clean jet mode like that. Or you can, you know, there are different peggles. You can plug them into the side like this. And then you can plug it in. If you if you want to, you can plug it up there with the on the wing. So there are some different options for you if you uh, if you prefer just the clean jet mode uh, with the without the blasters. 
it's pretty cool looking um, it's really up to you where you want to store the null rays you can have them on these uh, these back ports right here you can store them really wherever you want you can leave them off to the side so there are some options to have with where his null rays go for some size comparisons here he is compared next to the Earthrise deluxe class wheeljack figure so you can see how Starscream scales next to a deluxe Here he is compared next to the Siege Netflix series Voyager class Megatron, so you can get a sense of scale between him and another Voyager. And here we have the original Siege Voyager class Starscream compared next to the Earthrise Voyager class Starscream. Both of them are completely different jets. The Siege Starscream figure is a Cybertronian Tetra jet, and the Earthrise Starscream figure is a F-15 fighter jet. So again, two completely different figures, but they are unique in their own cases. The Siege Starscream has this battle damage on it, and the Earthrise figure... And I do like that the figures are... The Earthrise figures are giving us their G1... Their classic G1 character designs with their classic uh, vehicle modes. And the uh, Siege line is giving us the G1 robot modes with some, you know, alien eyes uh, vehicle modes. It's really cool. So there are some differences. They are the same character, but there are some differences in robot mode. But I wanted to compare these two figures. For Starscream's transformation, we're going to start by removing the null rays. If you haven't done so already, we're just going to remove them. Put them off to the side. Then we're going to take these wings here and we're going to untab them from the side, rotate them up and around, just like so. They do not tab into place, so when you're transforming it into robot mode, sometimes they like to like try to shift out and pop off. If they do pop off, it's a real simple fix. You just plug it back on, no big deal. Come around to the back, fold these, uh, tail, uh, these uh, rudder pieces up. Take this section here. Fold it up, take these shins and pull them down. Then come around to the back and disconnect the uh, back of the legs from the upper part of the jet and then rotate them down on a double hinge. Let me demonstrate. So fold them up. And then there are two tabs right here and here and two tab holes on the inside of the knees and they will just plug into place. Then we can separate the legs just like so. Then we can untab uh, this section here and then fold out his feet and bring down this whole assembly here so do that on both sides and bring this down just like so then we're going to open up this chest section we're going to open up this chest section here um, it just untabs then that will allow you to rotate out the arms and then open up the arms. Make sure my camera's in focus. Open up the arms and rotate them on a double hinge. Then press this in the place, make sure it is secure. Then there is a tab right here that will tab in to a tab hole and that will solidify to make his elbow, his elbow joint. Do that on both sides. Make sure that stays locked into place. Tab that in. Then we take the whole front of the nose cone of the jet, we bring it down, rotate it around, and then slide it, this chan this uh, peg right here will slide into that sort of channel right there. So make sure that lines up and fold that into place. Make sure the arms are sorted, that way the pegs will just tab into place. Then we simply take this nose cone here Swing it back and push it down into place. Then all that's left to do is straighten out the figure. Make sure he's standing up properly. Make sure everything's tapped into place. Knees are locked in. Straighten them out using the official joints. We can angle these wing, wings back some. Then we can take his null rays and tab them into place on his shoulder, just like so. Two ports on the side of his shoulder, tab those into place. And here we have Earthrise Starscream. 
in his robot mode. And the robot mode for Starscream looks really, really good. Giving a quick 360 spin around of the figure, I think it's done really, really well. This is a great representation of the G1 or the 1980s version of Starscream. It looks really good. It does have a few minor issues, and I'll get into that here in a little bit, but overall, I think they did a really good job with this figure. Taking a look at the details, starting at the feet, we've got some nice gunmetal gray um, paint there on the feet. Got that same paint on the knees, and you've got some blue paint on the shins. Got some nice molded in detail as well. Moving to the upper torso, we've got some nice red paint on the waist. Very nice. Then moving up to the upper torso, we got some nice molded in detail. We got some more of that gunmetal gray paint there in the chest. And that head sculpt, that head sculpt is just perfect. Got some nice red eyes, silver face, and the glossy black uh, head. Very, very nice. I really like that head sculpt. Really good looking. Coming around to the back here, as you can see... There's the nose cone from the jet. Some Just some molded in details that sort of carried over from jet mode. Nothing too special. Obviously, we keep the uh, Decepticon emblem, although it is upside down. I kind of wish they'd angled it so it'd be, you know, facing uh, upside um, properly as it should be in the robot mode, but it is what it is. But overall, the robot mode for Starscream looks fantastic. Taking a look at Starscream's articulation, it's not too bad. Starting at the head, his head can look up and can look down and can rotate 360 degrees on a ball joint, but it is kind of blocked on these two pylons, so I'm not going to demonstrate the full 360 movement. His arms can move outwards and can almost rotate 360 degrees, but they are blocked by his wings. And his wings do have some movement. There is a hinge here and then a hinge here for the transformation, so you can use that for the robot mode articulation. He does have a swivel right above the elbow that does rotate 360 degrees. He also has a little over 90 degree bend at the elbow. Moving the arms out the way. This, um, this little flap right here can fold forward so he can kick forward that far and can kick back that far and he can kick outwards that far. He does have a swivel right at the hip joint which does rotate through full 360 degrees rotation he does have a 90 degree bend at the knee a little over 90 degree bend at the knee although it's kind of hard to access on my copy well not access just use because you really have to clamp the knee down because if you watch that transformation joint just comes unpegged so just something you should be aware of when trying to pose this guy and then he does have the siege uh the siege ankle tilt joint so overall the figure is not too bad um in articulation for robot mode size comparisons here earthrise starscream is next to earthrise deluxe class wheeljack and here is a siege netflix series voyager class megatron next to the earthrise starscream figure and i think these two look really good side by side and here is the Siege Voyager class Starscream compared to the Earthrise Starscream. And as you can see, there are some major differences, but you can tell that they're the same character. But one of the biggest noticeable differences is obviously the battle damage on the Siege version of Starscream. And I prefer the look of the Earthrise Starscream without the battle damage. Just two different figures, but they are really good representations of Starscream. So overall, what are my final thoughts and opinions about Earthrise Starscream? He is a really good figure. He does have a few issues, The um, one of them being is that he has no waist articulation, but due to how the, trans the figure transforms, I can forgive it for that. And then the other issue I have is that the backpack or the nose cone just becomes a backpack. I wish there was something else they could do to maybe make it collapse into the chest and sort of just fold up into the chest itself. But other than that, I have no issues with the figure. All the joints are nice and tight, um, and all the paint looks really good on the figure. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good figure. I really do like it. So if you're in the market for a G1-styled Starscream, this is a great figure. 
Well, that's all for me. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.